I would like to share with you a reflection about my experience on 9-11. At that time, I was on sabbatical from Providence College and assisting in the campus ministry at NYU, New York University. I was there about a mile away from the Twin Towers. As I stood there watching that devastation, Brendan Ryan, a graduate of Providence College in 2004, came running down the street. I had known Brendan as a student, and he was a member of the band, the music group, The Bogmen. Brendan told me that his wife, Christy Irvine Ryan, was in the second tower on the 102nd floor. We both ran back to his apartment, and when we got there, Brendan said, we have to pray. And so we knelt down, and he began to pray for all the people that were trapped in these buildings. And then he asked God if God would be so good as to help his wife, Christy, escape that tragedy. Brendan and Christy had been married at that time for 94 days. Christy did not make it out. On September 23rd, we celebrated a memorial mass for Christy at St. Patrick's Church in Huntington, Long Island. The church was packed with alumni from Dayton University where Christy had studied, alumni from Providence College, family and friends of the Irvines and the Ryans. It was probably the most difficult homily that I ever had to give. What to say? I had seen a clip of a film in which a woman who had lost her husband asked the question, where was God on 9-11? Another woman sat with me in the chapel at New York University and said, God has not stopped crying since 9-11. Of course, there were no words to explain this tragedy, this terrible act of terrorism. It was something evil. On the other hand, what I tried to offer those people listening to me at St. Patrick's Church was some kind of hope. Christian faith, our Catholic faith, tells us that death is separation. Biological death is not the final word. Certainly separation is painful, it's hurtful, it can be devastating, but separation is not forever. Jesus in John's Gospel tells us, I am the resurrection and the life. He or she who believes in me will never die. And then he asks that question of Martha, do you believe this? Her response, hopefully, is our response. I believe that you have the words of eternal life. We celebrate now the 10th anniversary of that terrible day in 9-11-2001. We continue to pray for those who were killed. We continue to pray for their families and friends. And we continue to live with hope. We continue to live with the promise of eternal life. I am the resurrection and the life. He or she who believes in me will never die. Do you believe this?